my children, welcome to your new style of home learning, watching videos at home. Now the first thing you need to do is to get your phone, switch it off and put it a long way away. Second thing you need to do, get rid of your iPad, turn off the television and don't talk to anyone. Today we're going to be learning about doing the bus stop method. What? Bus stop method? What's that? What is the bus stop method? Good question, Miss Karen. The bus stop method is a really simple way of doing division. I don't understand. Don't worry, Miss Melinda. I will explain it really slowly and really carefully. The first calculation we're going to do is a divided by four. The first thing you do is you draw your bus stop. You put your the largest number second hiding in the bus stop and your four just before. Look, I've done it with Numicon. So let's see how many fours we can get into eight. One four. Two fours. That's right, the answer is two. Let me just get my pen. Found my pen. Is that okay, Miss Melinda? I don't, I don't understand. It, it doesn't make any sense to me at all. Don't worry, Mr. Tom. We're going to try and try again. And that's what's important. The next calculation we're going to do is 84 divided by 4. So now you've drawn your bus stop, you've put the biggest number hiding in the bus stop, and you've got the 4 just before the bus stop. Let's see how many 4s go into the first number, the number 8. One, four. Four, gonna fall off. Two, fours. What number do you think I put there? Two. Now, let's see how many fours go into the second number, the four. One. So I put a one there. We now know that 84 divided by 4 equals 21. Mr. Ben, I just don't understand. Thank you for telling me, Miss Helen. It's really important to tell me if you're not sure about something. Anyway, it's about to get harder. We're going to start trying to divide with something called, I can't remember, ah! remainders. First of all, we're going to do 64 divided by 3 equals. Okay, so you put your biggest number in the bus stop, then you put your smallest number just outside the bus stop. First of all, 3 into 6. I wonder how many 3's go into 6. Let's find out. 3's go into 4. Hmm. Oh no, it doesn't fit. I know what we'll do. One 3 has gone into 4. And how many is left over? One is left over. That's called a remainder. So we're going to write remainder one. Does that help, Miss Helen? I don't understand, Mr. Ben. Don't worry, Miss Hannah. We're going to try it one more time. So, we've got 56 divided by 5. Again, our largest number in the bus stop, and we've got 5 just before. So, first of all, how many 5s fit into 5? One. Now the six, the difficult one. How many fives fit in to the six? 
I can see that one five fits into the six. But we're left with some over. We're left with a remainder. Our remainder is one. So we do an R for remainder and put a one. 56 divided by 5 equals 11, remainder 1. Mr. Bear, I just don't get it. Don't worry, Mr. Mike. What you need to do is practice at home. And what I want everybody to do is to do five division calculations using the bus stop method in their home learning book and to bring them back by next Thursday. Can you do that?